At Apocalypse Studios, we believe collaboration with players is a key component in creating memorable games. As Dead House Sonata is a story-driven game, we encourage our community to participate by crafting stories of their own. This is the first step to fostering a collaborative fiction project that will ultimately contribute to the development of the game. Here follows some of the community submissions we have received so far. Today's community submission is written by Golden Zahn and voiced by Laserfrog, Christopher Gilbert, Bishop, Wyvern Rising, and Purple Griffin. It is titled The Ghouling Pit and tells the tale of a vampire's schemes to create a ghoul. William the Librarian. Note written in a torn sheet of paper from a yellowed ledger. Dear Margaret, much have I depended on my wandering mind to keep myself distracted from our current predicament and temporarily set myself in a dream parallel where I may rest under your sweet care again. Yet my focus wanes the longer I stay here, and the longevity of these forced visions diminishes. When I volunteered to join the excursion to the Algos Library and recovered the rumored history books that could still be laying in a deteriorating solitude, I feared not the putrid undead monsters that stalk the shadows of the night. Because although their memories may be eternal, ours are entirely dependent on the recording of our history and the nobility of this cause strengthened my resolve. I paid no heed to your cries, not out of dissociation from your loving sisterly affection, but because my strength of will had to prevail over any reservations I might have if my duty was to be fulfilled. And lords, it pains me to say it, but how I have regretted coming here. Even in the sudden and dare I guess unholy droughts we have endured, or the plague that sickened the village's herds, I have not felt a consuming hunger as acute as this one. We have been locked within the dusty confines of this crumbling library for six nights by a swarm of blood-sucking, vicious, flying rats circling the building. You know how I detest the dirt bats leave behind. All attempts of leaving this place have resulted in severed limbs. Our food supplies have been, for the most part, stolen or destroyed in the impish attack on our caravan days ago, and the most resolute of our knights that guarded and guided us are on the edge. And after many frustrated attempts of escaping and squandered energy on fruitless scuffles, even the wagon's horses are looking more appetizing by the second. Margaret, Lest our efforts be in vain and we turn into martyrs, we cannot abandon the recovered records. I will do whatever it takes to survive this place. Return to your much desired company and the warmth of the horrible cactus soup you so thoughtfully prepared. Your brother William, 4th of Oct. Shades the Thrall. The thrall rapidly throws itself at the ground before its vampire master, curled into a fetal position, face down. It raises its trembling, dirty hands in supplication. Master, we finished digging the pits. The barbed bones are fastened deep, and the iron band are being moved as I humbly address you. The preparations will be done by the first of Oct, as your will commanded. The time approaches. I will release them in five nights. Make sure that no hollow dies. I want as much meat in the pit as possible. Now leave. I must concentrate. Emitting low-pitched sounds that much resembled a snuffling animal, the thrall crawls away from its master, keeping its head down until it is far away enough to turn without catching any glimpse of its sire's face. Amarax the Lich, journal entry. I've warned the simpleton about the unpredictability of the ghoul's formation. The so-called ghouling pit created a propense environment for the Wendigo spirit of hunger to arrive, but it lacked any form of control. I was not surprised when I found the vampire's body in front of a cage, face torn. I was surprised, however, 
to find the rest of his body without bite marks. Despite the low amount of subjects, the fool was indeed successful in finding one prone to welcoming the Wendigo. I could tell from the lack of torn bars that the wretched leech formed some level of trust towards the ghoul. The thing was definitely not left emaciated due to hunger, as his open face testifies. Following the blood trails, I encountered the fresh ghoul eating a cactus of all things. He entitled himself Willow, bearing in pronunciation every time he repeats his name. I invited the creature to be guided by me in its new unlife. Willow was disquietingly meek, in spite of its obvious capacity for fierceness. I will study him with a fondness that I am sure my vampire companion was incapable of. But I will not make the same mistake as he for even a moment. I shall take notes of this ghouling pit and query the vampire when we eventually meet again after his materialization. I am sure this experiment will be useful in the future, in some capacity. From the creator of Legacy of Cain and Eternal Darkness, Dead House Sonata is a narrative-driven action RPG in which you take the role of the undead and fight against the living. Visit us at www.deadhousesonata.com for updates on development or to support us by becoming a founder. That's deadhousesonata.com.